Ah, you sexy biscuits, and welcome into Siege Survival. Gloria Victus. This is a brand new medieval game coming from the developers Black Eye Games, Fish Tank Studio, and being published by Raven's Court. So the bio says, A medieval city under siege and a handful of civilians are all that keep the walls from falling. Mixing survival, strategy, and resource management, build your camp, craft supplies, and scavenge the occupied city to supply the last troops holding back the invaders. I'm gonna throw it out there, I'm terrible at strategy games but let's see what this is like oh and by the way this is released today so you can go buy this on steam i think it's around 16 pounds so yes here we go Oh god, it's Magvard! Oh, well, he's dead. Okay. Oh boy. Oh no, they're coming. The sixth day of summer, the year is 1205. Kingdom of Midland. We were just starting to harvest when the Izmirs struck out of nowhere, catching us off guard. Horns of war sounded throughout the Edring, and the smoke-filled city streets ran red with the blood of its citizens. The savage warriors from Kalgad had invaded our home. The town fought bravely, but the Izmirs were too many. Before long, the raiders were in the main square, and the city centre stood in flames. All we could do was send a messenger out to summon aid, while the outnumbered guards focused on protecting. There's dialogue options! Okay, uh, protecting the fleeing citizens. Yes, in an act of selfless sacrifice, the guards gave their lives to aid the civilians. The survivors soon found shelter within the cold castle wall, safe from the slaughter for the moment. Those who could join, joined the castle crew to prepare the defense. So if we'd gone for the workers, they would have probably had a better benefit in terms of building things. Oh, I like that. The bloodshed continued unabated. Street by street, square by square, the Ismirs overran the city, murdering anyone who didn't escape in time. Then they prepared their war engine, smashing the gate connecting the town and the castle. We thought things couldn't get any worse. When we glimpsed a monstrous figure, or the barracks were destroyed. Let's go for the monstrous figure. The Kalgadas were led by their infamous nameless champion. Nothing I'd seen in my whole life was more terrifying than this beast-like figure. We all heard tales of the huge northerners, but nothing prepared us for the sight of this monstrous man walking up the streets of our city. In our hearts, we abandoned hope. We took shelter in the keep and took stock of the situation. Supplies were limited, no doubt. The Ismirs would soon attack again. The castle, the only part of Edring still uncaptured, was now under siege, and it was up to us to support our soldiers as they fight to stave off the enemy. Until relief comes. The Bastion must hold. Oh my god, I like this! I love that there's kind of difficulty settings in the text options. That's really clever. Welcome to Siege Survival Gloria Victus. Now go to the man sitting by the castle wall and talk to him. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at me go. Oh, very fancy. Hello, you all right? You recognize the man before you. It's Bertram, a local carpenter. You were relieved to see he survived. It's clear, however, the events of the last day have scarred him in some terrible way. He just sits there, seemingly unaware of your presence, shivering and pressing his hand to his chest. I examine him. As you check him for wounds, you notice something tightly clenched in his hand. 
It's a small squirt doll. You suddenly realize this man has just lost his family. There is nothing you can do for this kind of pain. Still, perhaps a warm meal might snap him out of this state of shock. However, the kitchen was destroyed by Ismir's trebuchets. You'll have to build a fireplace first. With all the debris around, you will surely have no difficulty finding firewood and other useful materials. Okay, so we can do that. Hang on then. So let me have a quick look around here. So we can scavenge in different places. So let's go and grab the stuff over here. Now I'm assuming like other RTSs, there's going to be different kind of things you can collect. Like stone, wood, that kind of thing. To be able to build up your defences to defend from the siege of the Ismares. And that's going to be awesome. The items you have just collected from the debris pile are in the centre window. There's fibres in there as well. That's useful. Right, so let's take those. Build a stump with sawhors to chop wood into firewood. So let's grab these. And then we can actually place this wherever we want to. So I'm going to place this around here. And we're going to build that. Now, I'm assuming we can get more people as we go on. Now, I haven't played this until now, so you're experiencing it alongside me. But right now, I like the idea of this. I really like defending small places in video games. I love a good strategy game where you have a town. You have to build up defenses and try and live as long as possible. And that is going to definitely scratch that itch. Okay, so what we can do is we can upgrade this. And we can also destroy it. We also have firewood. Uh, which is what we need right now to build our fire. So if we come over here, um, we can make six of these. Let's do three for now. And here we go. Now that's going to chop the wood. And then we can, of course, use that in building our first fireplace. Now I'm assuming there's going to be some more stuff in here we can use for the fire itself. Oh, there is food. And we can also right click to get more information, including splitting objects, which is useful. So let's take everything. And we're going to use the storehouse to build ourselves a fireplace. So this is where you come and craft stuff, I'm assuming, throughout the game. Uh, we're going to build that and we're going to place it close to our good friend Bert from here. And then my character can run over here and start building that. Now we also have what looks like a storehouse here with food and clean water in it. So we have a pantry, we have eggs in there that are fresh, which is useful. And you make a meal using the fireplace. Okay, so I'm gonna make this one. And let's try and make Bertram a little bit happier by giving him some food to eat. I've been recently playing a lot of Age of Empires 2 with my good friend HJ and Maple Coffee, who is amazing. Both of them are fantastic. And we ended up playing a game last night on stream with Sir Toby. Yes, Sir Toby from War Horror Studios. Uh, we also have in the background, he's kind of a special guest because you don't get to talk to him very often. He's, he's very elusive. Yeah. Very true. Very elusive. It's Sir Toby! Yay! That's where you... I, I'm, I'm elusive. I'm not easy to talk, right? <laughs> yeah, you're allowed to talk. It's okay. <laughs> 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 we just put a ban on him. No! He's not allowed to tell us anything about War Horses working on. Oh, so, no. Not that. Yeah, yeah so we've, have, have we... If we just essentially put Toby in the corner, we have nobody puts Toby in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, no one does. And um, yeah, we ended up playing a lot of that, and I've been really getting into more strategy games recently. Bertram is still exactly where you left him, shivering and pressing the tattered doll to his chest. His eyes stare absently, pain frozen on his face. It's as though his mind just cannot escape what must have been his darkest moment. I feed him. He barely notices your presence, but you manage to make him eat. Bite after bite, you can see life coming back into him. Finally, he puts down the empty bowl and falls asleep. It's safe to guess that he hasn't once shut his eyes since yesterday. And we're going to leave him to rest. Bertram's recovery would be so much better if he had a simple bed, which you could build with materials lying around in the streets. The gate connecting the city to the castle is damaged, but you recall there is a secret passage leading to the city market. You could use it and look for some supplies under the cover of night. But wait a minute, who is that man standing by the gate leading to the bastion? Who is it? Let's get to work, okay. The soldier standing before you is covered in blood, his eyes dim with exhaustion, the tunic on his armor torn to shreds. Only once he speaks, you recognize Galvik 
an experienced garrison member known and liked by the citizens for his cordial attitude. He's stunned speechless by the loss of his aunt and nieces. Yet another blow falling on a man already exhausted. There is no time to grieve. Ismir's will attack again soon, he says. We must resupply before it happens. Then he reveals that a group of soldiers is searching through the city as well, but they still haven't come back. That's why he needs your help. What do you need? We need arrows, he says. Quite a lot of them. Of course, it would take days to craft them from scratch, but how about the boyer's workshop in the city? That's your chance. Hurry, says Galvik. All our lives depend on you. He returns to the bastion. The night has come. <laughs> oh, okay. We need to build a bed. That would be very useful right now. Oh, send characters outside. Now, I'm assuming by going outside, they risk being killed. Yeah, so let's send him out to... Oh, that's awesome. So you can actually send him out to do different things. Let's send him out to scavenge the sea. And here we go. Here you can make all preparations before entering the city. The map is displayed on the left. Show secret paths from the castles. Only one of them is available at the moment. But if you find a way to unlock others, you'll be able to start your night in different parts of the city. On the top right hand corner you can see the backpack of the selected character, each of them having a different number of slots available. Think about what items you would need during the scavenge and move them from your common supplies to the backpack. Torches, shovels and weapons would be your usual choice. Do I have any form of weapon here? No, I do not. So we're just going to send him with that. Okay, you've entered the despoiled city below the castle. You can move faster by double clicking the mouse button. Be warned though, running is louder and this is a city under occupation. It is definitely a good idea to move carefully and mind your surroundings. Oh my god, this is uh, slightly intense, I'm going to be honest. Now, we do have a torch here. Could I possibly use that? Oh, very cool. Right, so that's probably going to give our location away a lot more than if we didn't have that, but I need to find wood, cloth, and fibers, and also search for some arrows. So we're going to come over here, select these resources. Oh, there's a guy hanging there. That's not great. Come on. Okay. This is kind of reminding me of that game. I think it's This War Is Mine. It's kind of similar. Obviously not 2D, but it has that similar feel. There's quite a few games like this where you have to go out and collect supplies. But of course, your people can die by doing this. We just need cloth now, I'm hoping. There you go. Awesome. Now, I'm going to keep going. Now, the only problem is it's risky. I like this risk-reward system. So, of course, if I was to keep going here, I may run in to some enemies. And I don't want to do that right now. So, I'm just going to pick the vegetables I can find here. And then, there is thankfully a button to just immediately leave. So, that's what I'm going to hit. As soon as I get the last couple of things here, I want to come over here. And I also need to go over there to grab what's in there. I'm hoping there's some arrows in there. Okay. All right. Come on. Please be something good. And we have rubble. Okay. So we've got green herbs and wood. Awesome. I'll take that. Now we do have the map here. Event in the city and Boyer's house. So we need to go to Boyer's house. Definitely. So that's this one here. Oh boy. I'm slightly nervous right now. I haven't seen anyone. I'm hoping we don't get attacked. You have found the Boyer's Workshop. Needless to say, the Ismirs have been here. The building has been scorched and looted. Its owners hang from a nearby tree, a dozen arrows sticking from his body. As you gaze on the destruction, a chilling wind reminds you why you're here. To find arrows for soldiers. And you one way to find out, you step inside. You prowl through the devastated workshop, looking for precious arrows among piles of broken parts and burnt out furniture. Time passes, but you can't find any. Just as you're about to give up, you spot a flash in the dark under a broken roof beam. Could it be? Yes! Arrows for the Bastion Defenders! You try pulling them out, but they seem to be stuck under the broken beam. You pull and pull until they're all yours. Suddenly, the dislodged beam collapses on top of you with all of its weight. Pain shoots through your whole body. It takes you ages to get free. Oh, so I'm wondering if we actually take time doing this. That's cool. As you leave the workshop, you see something has changed. The Boyer's corpse has been taken down. An old woman leans over the body in the shade of the tree. She is sobbing, exhausted, and you guess she must be his mother. 
she had risked her life to cut down her son and bury him in a shallow grave. The woman struggles to move him, but she hurts herself with the axe under his belt. I'm going to help her bury the corpse. The woman is startled to see you approach, but you see relief in her eyes as she realizes you want to help. Once the corpse is buried, she gives you a small sack and silently walks away into the dark. Now, I'm wondering, because we didn't take the axe there, we don't have a weapon. I'm wondering if that is going to play a part later. Although, we do have valuables here, which is fantastic, so we're going to take all of that. And we're also going to take a quick look. Oh, Flint is wounded and requires bandages and rest. Okay, so what I'm going to do here... Do I have anything that I can possibly use on myself? I don't think I have anything like that. The green herbs cure illness and poisoning. So I am bleeding. I probably need to get back home as quickly as possible to get myself healed up. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go further into the city and we're going to grab this. And then I'm immediately going to run away. Right. And... Oh, really? Stone clay and pieces of iron scrap that could be used to turn into weapons. Right, we're going to take that and we're going to immediately leave. Oh, we of course could only carry a certain amount. Now, do I need this? Probably not. I think we have some back in the castle. So here we go. I'm just going to press the button. He's going to run back immediately straight home. This is surprised me a little bit. I thought it was just the defense part. I didn't realize that you'd actually have to delve into the city and explore and scavenge. I really like that. This night was calm, but the enemy assault can come any day. We must prepare for it. We should use this chance to help the soldiers at the bastion. So every day we go through this, the risk of attack gets closer and closer. Oh, he's finally awake. That's positive. Hello, Bertram. It seems Bertram is feeling much better. The loss of the family has had a crushing impact on him that only time can fully heal. Nevertheless, though, finally, the carpenter has recovered from shock and is ready to rejoin the fight. I remember you visiting my workshop once or twice with Galvik. Thank you for your help. Now we should take care of the animals and find fresh water. Bertram is right. Fresh water is paramount. In a stroke of bad luck, the castle well took a direct hit from the trebuchets. Still, maybe if you clear away the debris, you might be able to repair it somehow. You have unlocked your second character. You can now switch between characters with the tab key. So we're going to go for Bertram here, and we're going to run over here, and I can see if I can fix this or get rid of the stuff that's here. Could I grab you and get you to clear this out as well? And then we can basically work together as a team here and clear out some of this debris. Right, so we're going to take that and you come and clear out this as well. Uh, I'm hoping we can get some good stuff going here for our camp. Uh, yeah, take that. And if you could then head over there and go and grab that as well, that would be fantastic. Now, I'm assuming that this is the well, so we can grab this. Now, as soon as Bertram's finished here, I can grab him. And I'm hoping he can fix this, right? Okay, so he's going to go over there and... Yes! You remove the debris blocking the well. Sadly to no avail. The well's base has been crushed by the trebuchet projectile. The shaft itself is blocked. That's what she said. And there's no way you could clear it out before dying of thirst. Perhaps you could find some potable water in the city market under the cover of darkness. It's risky, but it's the best chance you have am i still injured is the ultimate question uh lightly wounded i have to dress this wound and rest could i pop over here a second and see what medicine that i can make i'm going to make shift a bandage which is awesome um, i'm hoping this is going to be able to heal the slight wound that we have right now uh, i have to dress the wound Oh, so he is bandaged right now i could probably send him to sleep though right so we need to craft a bed so I've got four cloth, uh, I have four fiber, and 14 wood. So let's build that. And I could probably build another one as well. Flint is wounded. Well, I've already sent him to bed, so he should be getting a lot better now. Uh, search the city for clean water and send arrows to the bastion. Now, I'm not seeing... Oh! Uh, here you can check how the defense is going... You can see your remaining defenders. So, so they kind of have all this happening in the background. Our supplies. Let's send these to the bastion. Let's send those across. 
And our character's going to run over here and do this. I'm hoping we can get this done. Uh, sleep in bed. Okay, that's fine. Uh, he is going to need as much sleep as possible. And we can send him to go outside. Now, the only problem is I don't want to do that right now. I want to stay here to give the Bastion my arrows. But unfortunately, it's not letting me do that. Uh, let's grab our torch. And we're going to go out for one more night, and then I'm probably going to end the video, because obviously I want you guys to experience this for yourselves. I think that this game is going to interest a lot of people, especially people who love medieval games. And right now, everything seems really quite accurate. It's really cool. Now, of course, we've already searched some of this before. Now, I'm wondering if some stuff does regenerate, because I'm pretty sure I already looked in here, but we may as well. There's a body down there. I didn't see that the first time. Okay, also we have what looks like another entrance here. Now, can we possibly open this so we may be able to take another way in? This is where the gate to the high city, the wealthiest district of the city, used to be. Used to be. Because the gate, struck by a trebuchet projectile, has collapsed into rubble. No doubt, there would be good pickings on the other side, but is it possible to clear a passage? Alas, the rubble is compressed and blocked by several collapsed ceiling beams. The way they are jammed, they could only be moved from the other side of the gate. It looks like the wonders of the famed high city will remain out of your reach for now. Okay, so that is definitely a place we can probably go to later. So, Bertram, if you could come down here. Now, I like that you can't look too far ahead. I can't move the camera now. So we could, of course, run into some enemies, and if that does happen, we'll have to leg it back to the exit. Now, if I open the map quickly, we are currently here. Uh, there's an inactive passage here, and there's an event happening there, and that's blocked off. This is probably the best place we have right now to go. And I'm assuming if I bring a shovel with me, we'd be able to dig up more and find more things oh my god okay um why is it green that's weird unless that's the smell that's coming off of it oh we got clean water fantastic right let's burn the body then i guess oh oh no that is not nice because of course infection would get pretty bad in a town full of dead bodies that would not be very healthy to walk into at all now my character is getting tired but i don't care right now i just want to get the stuff we have here and get out oh it was blocking the path right so you need to burn the bodies to move them ha huh, that's a little bit interesting i did not expect that to be a feature but there you go let's quickly look into this and we have oh brilliant oh Damage light armor, fantastic. That's going to be useful, hopefully, if we can... Oh, crap, hang on a minute. Definitely need the meat, definitely need the wood, definitely need the water, and the cloth is very useful, and fibers. I'll keep that. You know what? I'm going to trade this for the armor, because we may be able to give that to our troops, and I can come back and get this at another point. All right, I'm going to walk a little bit further in here, see what else we can find. I'm hoping that we find some more water, and it isn't doubles in here. Oh. That's really useful. We're going to swap that for the green herbs. Mmm. Oh, this is the problem. Okay, I like this. You have to actually think about it. You know what? Screw it. We're going to, we're going to put this in here. We have quite a lot of that. I found some earlier. Okay. And now we can actually start digging stuff up, which is useful. So I'm just going to keep going this way. I don't think we're going to have much longer here. Oh, cloth. You know what? I'm going to exchange that for the fiber. And let's keep looking. Yes! Awesome! No! Oh, you can only carry up to 10 of a certain item. Right, I'm exchanging that for the herbs. It has to be. Right, if I can find some more water, I'll be happy. I'm just going to have a quick nosy over here. I just want to see what there is. Oh, there is a task here. What is this? Oh, I don't like this. Hang on. You approach the city gate from the market to the harbour. It would be an incredibly convenient shortcut for your nightly journeys. The door, however, is solid and definitely shut. If its mirrors haven't been able to breach it, you need a key. But where could it be? Right, so now we also have to find a key somewhere. That's pretty awesome. As night turns to day, your character is easily visible to enemies and patrols will be sent to your location. Okay, we need to leave. Get out. 
just go at this point. I've got a shovel. I've got a ton of water. We need to leave now. Oh, I like that you're on a time limit. That's awesome. It really definitely keeps the tension up then. Right, go. Yes, get out. The only thing I would say is I wish the days were a tad bit longer. The enemy assault approaches. We must get ready for the worst. The enemies are preparing to attack and we need to support our soldiers to help them stop the assault. Right, we need to get those arrows to the bastion immediately because right now... Wait, can we not send those right now? I'll die here if I don't get something to drink. We're going to have to send you, I think, to bed. <laughs> <laughs> right to bed with you let's get him up let's get him rested let's grab some water actually let's grab both of them some water i don't like that they haven't got water oh brilliant okay so we have collected quite a lot so that's fantastic uh oh the enemy is firing siege engines a flying rock can cause serious damage when it hits a character workshop but some of the stones can be collected and used to strengthen the walls of the bastion the defenders do everything they can to defend the castle against invaders. The items you provide them, a light of hope for survival. I haven't got any! The arrangement of bars and numbers represents the distribution. Okay. Ah, uh, this is not good. We need to grab as many items as we can here. This is not good at all. Oh my god. Okay. I haven't got anything to give them. How is it ready? We need to find them. Where are they? Bastion. Oh, fantastic. Right, send it quick. We got some arrows. I completely forgot you have to go over here and do it. Come on, send. Come on. Right, you, I need you in bed. Get to bloody sleep. Right, we have sent the arrows to them. Oh my god, they're plus four. Come on. Let's grab some supplies from here. Plus four. Oh, we're not going to win this, are we? Oh, come on. Oh, it's getting so close. Oh my god. Oh, no, this is bad. This is bad. Um, okay. We're not going to win this. It was a tie. Oh, 32. That was bloody close. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> you know what? I thought we were done for then. I'm going to be honest. Right, let's collect the items we have here. That was bad. Oh, they're hitting our buildings pretty hard. Right. We did it. We forced the enemies to withdraw from the walls with minimum losses. If I hadn't got those arrows there, they would have died. Oh, <laughs> we have lost two arrows, though. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to leave it here. This has been interesting. Um, if you enjoyed this, leave a like and tell me. Uh, and yeah, definitely go and check out this game. I think it's really quite impressive. I'm going to probably put more time into this on my own. I may return to this. If it does well on the channel, obviously I will return. But I also want to return to it later on. I like to come back to games about a month or six months later to see what's been added. And right now, I think this game is really promising. I really like the look of this. I want to give a massive thank you to all my patrons. You guys are incredible and you allow me to buy food every month. And I really do appreciate you. Anyway, I love each and every single one of you. But until next time, that's me. Out. Bye, guys.